Hey guys, it's Cameron Can't Do Live Commentary Part 8? I don't even know what part this is. 7 or 8. And we're back in Gobi's Valley where we just left off. About to go into this mighty pyramid we just opened by feeding some weird sphinx dogs eggs. That's a lot of S's. So yeah, let's just hop right into it, man. Let's grab these notes. And see how badly I can't do live commentary another time. <laughs> hey, it's my first time doing it, man. So, you know. I'm gonna try my best. Here you go, King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. Let's go. Oh, it's a maze. So, uh, yeah, this is one part where you can actually kind of get wrecked, cause it's not the longest time limit, and mazes are hard. So, but there's two things you need to do. You have to get to the exit and grab the Grintilda switch. So. We are going to... I mean, I got a lot of time to go to the exit, actually. I got the Grintilla switch quickly. Not a mummy. Yeah, I'm just gonna let him hit me. I can't really get through him. Hopefully... Oh, crap. It's not around this way. Okay, it's just right here. I actually had a lot more time than I expected. I went the wrong way one more time. Luckily, there's nothing in here besides just the Grintilla switch, so it's not too bad. Oh, the bear survived. He's after the king's ancient relic. Let's go. Nice. In a mummy case, just a jiggy. There's just no body. Like, they're probably like, we cremated the body into that freaking puzzle piece. That's my grandpa you just took. And then, man, it's just like, I'm a fucking bear. I don't know. <laughs> oh, sweet. There's a ginger in there. Good thing I checked all the vases. Alright. Easy money. Not that done. I'm gonna grab these eggs, so... No, I'm not! <laughs> Apparently, I'm not gonna grab those eggs. That's alright. Okay, I'm gonna look around for... Yeah, there we go. So, like, this world also is, like, a turning point for me personally, because... I feel like it gets harder because they add these bees to, like, the honeycomb. So, before, you could just grab honeycombs, but now... These bees get pissed at you if you steal the honey and chase you around for a while, so. The rest of the worlds from now on have it. It's like a little thing that makes me be like, oh wow, they really ramped up the difficulty. But yeah, you go far enough away and the bees chill out. I accidentally like wound feather. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna hop back to the Sphinx Pyramid over here. And uh, see what this is about. Not the hand. <laughs> Please, no. Yeah, there's a ton of notes over there. I should grab some boots or whatever they're called. So the green boots that let me walk on it. Oh, I can go around. Sweet. Let's see if I make this jump. Let's go. Screw the extra life. I'm pretty sure you lose your lives every time you, like, reset the game anyway. Which is one thing I hated in Super Mario Galaxy. I don't know why, because I would... I mean, I guess I know why. It's because I like, always found a ton of one-ups, and then I'd be like, sweet, next time I'm going to have a ton of lives, and you reset, you're back to four lives. I just didn't get it. It happens here, too, but I can give it a pass, because it's a really old game. But here's our friend Gobi again. This is where he found some shade. I need all my water for myself. So we got to bit of a problem on our hands because he's gonna be a bitch so yeah we're gonna give the water to trunker there thank you very much trunker you grew <laughs> you actually got water for once oh crap we can't climb him guess i'll jump from over here then perfect he had another jiggy down we've already gotten six jiggies which is crazy because like, it's one of the later worlds, and it's still pretty small, so I guess that's nice. Um, I think there's some flying stuff I need to do in this world, so I'm going to do that now. There might be a flight pad up here. Yes. Actually, first, let me see if there's anything up here. 
The mumbo token on his nose. Wow, he's alive. <laughs> Grab some feathers. My nose is all blocked up. Well, nothing to do except, I guess, block it more. So I'm gonna shoot some eggs in there. I accidentally hit right again. Hey, that tickles. Well, we gotta go back up. I keep accidentally changing my camera while I hit right. So it's going into... Going into the golden feather. And I look like a head ass, so... I'm gonna stop doing that now. I almost just did it again while I said that. <laughs> Alright. Hello? Hitbox? Maybe you have to do it from this one? Yes. <laughs> Achoo! Nothing like some eggs in the nose to not block it up. Ah, that clear Jinxie's nose. <laughs> Come on in. Thank you, buddy. We're gonna hop into Jinxie now. Looks like there's notes in the four corners. I always remember... This room is weird because there's stuff on the ground, and it's just those four notes in the corners. Uh, Yummy. By the way, I already suck because I did the... I did the golden thing. <laughs> golden feather thing. Hey, but there's our last Jinjo, so... Good stuff. Guess I should have grabbed those feathers too, but whatever. Can I hit a shot, please? Thank you, Mini Jinxie. Oh, my favorite thing about this game is just how every room and stuff has like a separate variation of the theme. It's just such good attention to detail. Yeah, this room has actually some harder jump. How did I just do a golden feather again? <laughs> no worries though, we got the Jiggy in here, so. We already got eight jiggies, and we already got the Jinjo one, so that's pretty nice. I'm just gonna grab the notes in the corners. Who's mad? Thank you. We are stacked on mumbo tokens at the moment. We already have 18. I don't know how much the next transformation is, probably like 15. I'd guess, but it's gonna be sweet. We do on next world. It's like one of my favorite transformations. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah, we never went flying at the top of Jinxie, so let's do that now. Probably just could have opened him up and then stopped, but it's all right. We're gonna go flying. Go through this cute guy. Actually, while we're up here, I want to use less feathers, so. Oh, sweet. A golden feather to pay for my mistakes. That I was doing before. Perfect. Oh, crap. We have to go into this one. I guess we have to fly again. It should have gone the other thing. I don't plan my route ahead of time. It's probably my fault, but it's all right. What do you mean, probably my fault? I just realized it's probably. <laughs> it's definitely my fault for not playing my route, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal because I still get through the worlds pretty quick. As long as I don't suck at one particular thing, like in Freeze Easy Peak, that still haunts me. There we go, get all the notes in here. Hello, weird guy. Hello, my friend. I'm Ruby. Can I be some of the help? No? Looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it. Yes. What is he talking about? Oh, that's Jiggy. So yeah, he is a snake charmer because stereotypes are funny. <laughs> Look at the snake. He's so funny looking. Quick scope. Tell me why sniping is harder in this game than, uh... Oh, his stuff is gonna help us now. 
Tell me why sniping is harder with eggs in this game than it is in Destiny 2. I don't know if anybody in my audience, except for my friends, has uh, knows about this game and also plays Destiny 2. It's a pretty wide, <laughs> widespread of games, but you know. I can make Destiny 2 jokes all day because I play it so much and it's stupid, so. <laughs> Alright. Oh, is that Gobi again? Hold up, we gotta hop over there. I'm gonna fly through that guy, though. Because... Wait, actually, the magic carpet's right here. It also spawns there. Okay, well... Wow, it's near mine as well. Hello. And that's all the notes. I'm just gonna ground pound you. I don't even care. Yes! <laughs> bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. See you later. Spoilers, we will see him again. <laughs> Sweet. And I know where the other home honeycomb is. Oh yeah, I think this is a special room for like a stop and swap jiggy or something. Not jiggy, um... For banjo too, one of those egg things. But yeah, I already collected it on my save file. But if you're playing this on Xbox and you want those for no reason, I guess it's in here right behind him. The the music that plays when you get into those rooms is really epic, so that's kind of worth it just for that. Thank you, Magic Carpet, for taking the longest route possible. <laughs> some backflips we're gonna get up here again fly through these rings very nice summon all the hidden rings of the ancients to beat the witch you got it anything to beat Gruntilda oh, yeah and there's the honeycomb right there that we spawned earlier that was in the bush I mean it spawns it in the bush it was like behind that pyramid Let's see. Perfect. And there you go. It's the sixth world, so we get another honeycomb for this one. Now we're stacked. We have seven hit points. Where did that guy go? I didn't actually watch because I was looking at the bush. It's probably on the other... Yeah, it's right down here. I swear I pay attention. <laughs> Sometimes. Thank you. Okay, that one's in that corner. What if the hand just swatted me out of the air? <laughs> just like, bitch, and just swats me down. There we go. Oh, this one's over by the Sphinx again. All right. See, now I'm paying attention. there's a way to fly a little bit faster. I guess I could beak bomb it, but then it'd probably take me out of flying because it hit the wall. Not worth it. Beautiful. Oh, I have to use another feather, don't I? Whatever. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Well, but Jiggy helps me beat the wizard. I mean, the witch. So, thank you. Also, love in this world is how much they call you immortal. This really makes you feel like a minuscule person compared to them. <laughs> well, there you go. I think that finishes off the world right there. Very nice. 10 Jiggies. Let's just check the totals. This time I'm actually going to check because I'm not going to be ashamed of the time. Yeah, perfect. Only 27 minutes. Not bad at all. We're gonna go ahead and leave this world then. I think I'll open up the next world right now. If I can remember where to go. That's always fun, isn't it? Oh, we can get the Gruntilda Jiggy too. I'm on this side, so I'm not just gonna jump. Welp, that sucks. He's there for a reason, just to piss you off like that. Alright. So 
So we just open up this bad boy right here with the jiggy inside. There it is. So I'm gonna grab the mumble token behind it, and then I think we can make time a jump off of this bad boy. <laughs> I landed on top, but it still clipped it. <laughs> there we go, there's that one. And I haven't gotten the freeze easy peak one yet. I'm not quite remembering how. Oh yeah, I can't kill that mummy. Because there's like a way to fly over. Let me see if it's up here. I'm just gonna kill this guy too for some health. We can also poop some eggs into this. I don't know what that's for, but you know. Why not? I'm just gonna get up here. There's also a place right here. Oh, another cauldron. I think we... Have we done this one yet? No, okay, that's a new one. You can jump over here. Brentilda. I think in a few episodes we might do Brentilda too. I've been putting her off because I don't have a notebook near me. And I just like to write down everything in the notebook or I'm going to forget what she says. So I'll, I'll get a notebook soon enough and we'll deal with that. Anything up there? Not yet. Aha, there's a hole there. Yeah, I know I have to fly. Cross for something. I'll just figure that out next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this one. It's been a pleasure. And I'll see you in the next one. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed.